Good morning, rise and shine. I'm on my way to Chanel. I want to check out some of the ready to wear pieces and then I'll go to Hermes. I'm not sure if I can do it today. I might go there tomorrow and I will go to Van Cleef and Arpels. By the way, guys, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Instagram. My first stop is Chanel. I wanted to try on the lilac jacket. It's so pretty. I posted another video about Chanel Cruise 2020 collection, which I will link down below. It's from the private launch event and you can see the items. Everything is so beautiful and this jacket is to die for. I will try it on. I have to say the fabric is quite light. It's perfect for Singapore. I really like the way it looks with jeans and I could wear it with my Tiffany blue bag. I'm such a huge fan of pastel colors. They are so beautiful. I also wanted to try on this bow top that I saw at the private launch event. I tried it on with the blue cardigan because I don't have any other colors in my size. Everything is sold out, but it's so cute. I'm so gonna get it. I also tried on this top with just a random white Chanel sweater. You can see how it looks. It still looks pretty nice. I really like it. It can work with anything, any cardigan. It doesn't have to be that teddy cardigan that I tried on before, or it can be a jacket. I really love it. And nobody can see that it's a crop top, so I can actually wear it with a tube top underneath and then the blazer as well, or I can just wear a crop top and the sweater. I also noticed that the purple bag is still available in case you guys are looking for it. I actually thought it would be sold out like on the first day, but it's still in the store. They also have this color in square mini, it's still available. You guys can check it out. Just ask your essay or go to boutique. I came to Hermes and I really like this belt and they finally have my size so i'm gonna get it it's a classic design and by the way this belt has two colors it has a brown color and a black and i'm planning to wear it with most of my outfits i think i will record a styling video and i will feature this belt how i can pair it with my corporate outfits Okay, I got the belt and now I'm in Van Cleef and Arpels. By the way, guys, I will unbox this belt later in this video when I will get home. I saw this amazing earrings, they are so gorgeous. I've been on the hunt for this for so long and I could never see them in a the store. This is the biggest size, this is Alhambra. I think it's in a magic size, I, I don't know. I think it's either large or magic. I really love this one, so they're so gorgeous. They are very heavy, but they are so beautiful. I've seen them on the website before, but seeing them in the real life, just, oh, they are so stunning. These are so hard to find. There's usually like one or two pairs in the whole of Singapore, but you can always ask your SA to pre-order for you. I think you have to pay 30%. I think it depends on the item. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do with my free wall ring because I cannot get my size. I wanna wear it on a small finger. So I'm going to pre-order. I will share with you my experience, let you know how long it took me. And yeah, and I will record unboxing video eventually as well. I also wanted to try on this ring. It looks quite small. I think I prefer a bigger size. This is a bit too dainty for me, but it's very sparkly. What do you guys think about it? Do you like this type of rings? And here are the earrings. These are cute. I don't know. I prefer bigger earrings, I think, but these are quite interesting. Do you like this ones? Please let me know what you think about this ones in the comment section below. I'm very curious to see what you're gonna say. I really like this free wall ring. It's really cute and it fits me. I'm very surprised that they actually had my styles for the first time. I do want to buy a double flower ring, which I showed in my previous videos. I will link down that video in the description box below in case you guys want to have a look. But that ring had two different sizes, this small flower and a bigger one, the size of my earrings. I really like this bracelet in the middle, it's so sparkly. 
just gorgeous what do you guys think about this tag do you like it i think i would also add my bracelet in white mother of pearl here i would add it above love to just break the yellow otherwise it's just so much gold i like to have a contrast in the stack something has to be in a different color what do you guys think about it do you like to wear a lot of gold or you prefer to break the stack by the way guys if you're new to my channel i have previously posted quite a few unboxing and shopping vlogs at vca and at cartier i will link them all down in the description box below in case you want to have a look i decided to go to tiffany and check their hardware collection which is really nice i tried on this bracelet and it looks quite cute what do you think about it I have seen quite a few people uh, wearing them, there were so many pictures on Instagram and I never knew where is this bracelet from. I only found out recently that it's from Tiffany and actually I'm quite new to this brand, I only have one item which is my engagement ring and that's pretty much it, nothing else. And the necklace, what do you guys think about it? I'm not sure if I would wear it, I think I need to get used to it. You can actually turn it the other way. I actually prefer this look, I think it's so much better. What do you guys think? And also this bracelet, I have seen it so many times. It's quite cute, I think it would look quite nice with this tag, but yeah, I could consider getting it. What do you guys think about it? Please let me know in the comment section below. By the way, the price of Tiffany jewelry is a lot more affordable than Cartier. Some pieces are like 4,000 Singapore dollars or like 5,000 Singapore dollars, while Cartier is 8, 9 plus plus, which is, yeah, quite incredible. But I still prefer Cartier to any other brands, even though it's a lot more expensive. I don't know why. I think it's just timeless designs and I just like the brand and the way the product feels and here I have the stack with the chain and that other bracelet quite interesting I'm at home now and I'm gonna unbox the belt I'm so excited by the way I like that Hermes gives this white bags they are so nice and that you can put your orange bags inside and nobody will know and it's very convenient especially if you're traveling to certain countries you don't want to be seen on the streets with Hermes bags so somebody can go and rob you of course no such thing would happen in Singapore it's pretty safe but it's just nice to have this option and sometimes I don't even feel comfortable walking with all of these designer bags even though it's super safe but it's just nice to have a choice I wish that more brands would do that I have to say I don't have that many Hermes products I only have one CDC bracelet that I featured in one of my videos the video is called my most used jewelry and i will link it down below in case you want to check it out i really like all the details the packaging the leather the quality it's pretty good so here i have the buckle and i will open it it's so nice it's in a light gold hardware really pretty i had a choice of silver as well but i wanted to get the light gold it would look great with all my other accessories, it's really pretty. I would have to put the buckle on the belt and here is the belt. There is something else inside, what is it? It feels quite heavy. Let me check. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I didn't know they give you scissors, interesting. What is it for? Is this what normally comes with Hermes belts? I, I never knew that. But yeah, I got scissors here back to the belt so it's black on the outside and there is a brown side which i love too and the coolest thing about this belt that nobody can see the holes if i put it on nobody can see it by the way here's hermes stamping i'm very particular about the details and i don't like when people can see the holes i also like the fact that i bought one belt but it has two different colors it feels like I bought two different belts, which is so cool. So yeah, I can totally justify the price they paid for it. 
by the way i wanted to also unbox the items i bought from chanel but because it's at the tailors now i think maybe i have to record another video and unbox this for you let me show you how you won't see any holes when you put on this belt so i would put it on the last hole my essay helped me with that to make it smaller so i just put it on and when i turn it around you can't see anything this is what i wanted anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video please let me know if you have any questions if you like my content please consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on instagram and i'll see you next time bye